Hey guys and happy holidays. Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'll be teaching you how to put on your quinceañera dress because believe it or not, it's such a hassle and you wanna practice and know how to put your dress on before your party. Because the day of your quinceañera, there's just so much going on that morning. And you know, you don't wanna struggle so much putting on your dress because it will take a lot of time. And then you don't wanna get so stressed out and emotional and then start crying and then ruin your makeup because it'll just get worse, trust me. The day of my quinceañera, I actually struggled myself. Nobody knew how to put on my dress but my choreographer. So thank God I had him around to put on my dress. Although it was kind of weird. A very important tip before you put on your dress is make sure you wear the proper undergarments under just because the crinoline will be on you throughout the whole day and you don't want red marks all over your body. So make sure you wear high-waisted to mid-waisted shorts just to cover uh, your waist area so you won't be so exposed to the crinoline tugging on your skin. For those of you wondering what to wear under your dress, then I'll provide a link to an article we wrote down below on what to wear under your dress depending on the dress that you choose. So like I said, the crinoline does go around the waist area. The crinoline is pretty much the base under the dress. Uh, there's two types of crinoline. One of them is usually to give you that more round circular shape for your dress and then another one is to add a volume but the volume one isn't always necessary, it just depends on what kind of dress you get. Uh, for this one, we're only gonna be wearing the circular kind of crinoline, just because the dress is already puffy enough. Once you put on the crinoline, you just tie it around your waist and make a nice little knot, and then you can put on your dress. So when you put on your quinceanera dress, you wanna make sure you put it over so whoever's helping you out, make sure they make a clear pathway into the dress just because you don't wanna mess up your hair and your makeup. So always have your hands up in front and out of, so it can move everything out of the way. Once it's on, you can always adjust it how you need it to be. This is where your assistant comes and helps you lace up your dress. Make sure that the strings are even and then you can kind of zigzag your way through from top to bottom, make sure it's always top to bottom. You don't tighten them until all strings are through the loop. And then you can start tightening it after you just tug and pull from top to bottom once again until everything is nice, you have enough breathing space and the dress is just perfectly on you. Uh, once you are done, you can just tie it up into a little bow or something. Then after that's done, you can tuck in all the extra piece inside your dress. Then you zip it up and voila, you're all done. Before I end the vlog, I just wanna give a huge thanks to Moelo Smil for letting me borrow this beautiful dress, the crinoline and the crown. It's a good switch up from what I usually wear. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. I'll link the their Instagram page down below so you guys can check out all the other amazing dresses they have. Comment down below if you have a funny story to share about putting on your quinceañera dress. Don't leave without thumbsing up this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.